Cloud. I'm glad to have you guys all with us. I'm excited as we're getting ready to transition out of finance season. As you guys know, this is the OFC Weekly, uh, where we get together on a weekly basis to in encourage each other and to empower each other. Um, so just quick little background. Again, this whole thing came to being because of our collaborations with BNI. BNI is the largest business networking uh, platform on the planet with over 300,000 business owners. Uh, we are proud to have the first ever OFC BNI chapter. And um, for those who don't know, BNI operates in a way where it's very rigid in terms of how the business meetings are run and how the structure is done. Um, but not everybody is one either interested in joining BNI or what we call BNI ready. So it's why we created this opportunity where we created this platform within the OFC community so that we can, um, you know, support each other and encourage each other. And those who are those who are interested in, we can help them to level up to become what we consider BNI ready. We get together um every tuesday morning from 7 30 a.m to 8 30 a.m where we will first off um listen to some motivation i hope this motivation was uh, uplifting to everybody then we have some uh, the ads from the affiliates who are the partners of the ofc so if you are interested in becoming a partner of the ofc definitely reach out to us in the event that you can't be present we do run your ads for you um and you are one of the you are one of the businesses that are here at the service of the community, uh, and it's our pleasure to encourage people to support your products and your services. After that, we have a teachable moment from Ken, our business coach, and then we will go into our round table where everyone will have an opportunity to introduce themselves, let people know who they are and what they do, um, and more importantly, how we could be a service to them as a community or how they could be a service to us. Uh, and then after that, I am the featured guest. So we normally have a featured guest every week that will take some time to deep dive into their product and service. Today, I am the featured guest and I have a guest with me, which is our brother, uh, Raphael from HPay, um, who's our partner working with us with the OFC membership card. So I'm looking forward to um, introducing him and having him um, share a little bit more about the cards for you guys. We'll be able to discuss and um, ask questions. And that is it. Then we wrap up. So we get that all done within 45 minutes. Well, now we're about 40 minutes left. So we get that all done within 40 minutes. So we make a dive into the rest of their business day. So no further ado. Oh, quick little housekeeping. Um, when we are doing a tool in the tab, everybody be mindful of the time. We have to, we try to keep it within 45 to 60 seconds when we're doing our round table. Um, so if you see me flaring my hands on the screen, it's because you have exceeded your 60 seconds. Um, also, au uh, bout nous rencontrons un complément bilingue. Faites s'il vous plaît, je ne vous pas de vous exprimer dans la langue de votre choix. Si nécessaire, on va traduire. So as you guys know, our sessions are completely bilingual. So please feel free to express yourself in the language of your choice. Um, and if necessary, we will translate. Also, I want to remind you guys to please share your contact information in the chat. We are here to network and to get to know each other and to connect with each other. So please feel free to do so. Last but very far from least, our sessions are recorded. So when you are introducing yourself, also remember to say your contact information. So if anybody watching this video after the fact would like to connect with you, they'll be able to do so. All right. That's it for now. Brother Ken, Uncle Ken, the floor is yours. <laughs> Grand Rising OFC, Grand Rising. I love what the motivational speaker was talking about because it's actually part of our pure selling program. And it's all about having a confident selling attitude. And um, the thing about confident selling attitude is we have to break self-imposed barriers. Right there, right there, self-imposed barriers. It's in fact our speed control, our belief in ourselves. Hold if we don't have the right belief in ourselves, it holds us back. It holds us back. Have you ever wondered why many relatively intelligent, hardworking, skillful business people never measure up to their full potential? Have you ever wondered that? Well, it's because the barriers imposed by their self image may be the major factor. I teach you this. You've got to learn this if you want to be successful. Otherwise, you're going to have a mediocre business 20 years into the future, and you're going to wonder. Why did I not achieve greatness? Why did I not be stronger? Why wasn't I the competitor to the competitors that are banging on other people's doors and grabbing my business and taking the lunch out of my mouth? Wow, why? Because of your self-imposed barrier. 
the motivational speaker today was bang on what he had to say. There are things that each and every one of us can do. We need to start now because later may be just too late. And you find out, you'll find yourself no longer being an entrepreneur. You're going to be back working, working as a slave for another company, nine to five. Why do that? <laughs> Self-imposed barriers. Give me a call. I'll teach you. Eric, Ken, that is awesome. You're right on. Um, you know, it, it's almost as if we uh, coordinated before today's session, but we didn't. It was just the energy. That's just what it is. And so we didn't coordinate. I, 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 did. I just, I said, oh my God, I love this subject because I teach it. We exactly. Yeah. Conf confident selling attitude. Wow. That's what it's. That's what it's about. Is your confidence? And actually, we were doing some stuff with the children the other day. Actually, and we we're reminding them like um, how to speak with confidence and how to, you know, and their cadence when they're speaking, all kinds of things. But anyways, Ken, uh, keep doing what you're doing. And if anybody has not taken the time to connect with Ken, uh, as you guys know, we're working on getting a subsidy for all Ken's business courses, um, especially the sales and the milestones that we're working on right now. So if you have not connected with Ken, so you can get that subsidy that we're working on with Africa Entrepreneur, please do so. Um, There's space for four more people. Four more people. Four more. Awesome. All right, guys, space for four. And that's giving you an 80% discount off of the course. You do not want to miss that opportunity. All right. Let's keep it moving. Uh, let me check first to our other affiliates. Brother Clark Cadet, Grand Rising King. How are you doing? Grand Rising, sorry about that. You guys know my early morning technical difficulties. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. It's uh, just trying to be next. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, 66. I apologize. So, yes, my name is Clark. I am from Clark Cadet Consulting and the Cadet Care Foundation. We will focus today on the Cadet Care Foundation, where we are bringing financial literacy to teens, youths, uh, young adults, older adults, anybody who needs help. But we're doing it for the low income in needy families. So it's no longer about a for profit business at this point. It's about really helping the community and seeing what we can do to help them. So uh, with this, we have the teen financial uh, tour that's going on right now. And all I'm asking from you and everybody in the community is, if you know of a teen that's at a camp that can benefit from financial literacy, please, please, please drop a comment, drop a name, tag the Cadet Care Foundation on Instagram. We will reach out to them. And all we ask is a letter of intent from the camp in exchange so that we can come and visit and help those youths. So at the OFC, you guys are in a very good position to help. Whether you have children yourself or friends of children, let's get them the opportunity they need to get financially literate. We're giving them certificates and an opportunity to avoid the mistakes we made when we were young. Clark, thank you for what you're doing. It's huge. I tagged you. I tagged you yesterday, actually, and I got with a couple people. I hope that they are able to connect with you. Oh, um, yeah. Quite a bit. I appreciate that. Good. Awesome. And do you know Aisha Robinson? Have you connected with her already? Absolutely. We're in, we're in a constant communication. She will actually be speaking at one of my events at the end of the year. Awesome. She's an awesome OFC member as well. So I want to make sure you guys are connected. Great. Guys, please make it a point to reach out um, to Brother Clark. And one of the things him and I have been speaking as well is to see if we have some youth who are not in camp uh, within the community that we um, should be looking to connect with. So if that is your case as well, you're a parent, you're an aunt, you're an uncle, you're a godparent, um, and your youth are not in the camp, but you do feel this information is of value and you want to make sure that they get it, let us know. Um, we're going to work on coordinating a session, uh, especially for you guys and your children. All right. So again, Clark, we appreciate you. Thank you. Sister, it's Sister Tashan, Sister Tashana, how are you doing, Queen? Hello, good morning. How are you? Good morning, awesome. everybody. Grand rising. Mm -hmm. Good morning. Yes, I am uh, Tashana Williams, um, the uh, co owner, operator of Orchid Black and Company. We are a consulting firm um, focusing on strategic, developmental, and operational consulting. It's quite a, a wide range of services. I'm happy to announce that. The website um, is going live and we are rolling out a membership program um, to allow my clients to have access to uh, templates and 
other forms of documentation as well as resources. Um, and my give to my clients is with every monthly payment, you get an hour and a half banked of consulting time, which you can use to bank for a big project or you can use to just, you know, have some multi monthly consulting with me. Um, while we are trying to automate our stream, our, sorry, streamline our services, we are also trying to maintain a boutique style service and community and a personal connection with our clients. So if you want to chat, if you have anything in your business that you're looking to streamline, give me a call. <laughs> Amazing. This is Shauna. And your contact info? Uh, my contact info, you can reach me at uh, Shauna at orchidblackco.com. Um, and uh, you can reach me online at, at orchidblackco for any of your social media uh, platforms as well. And I will put my information in the chat. <laughs> Thank you. Thank awesome. you. Were you able to follow up with uh, Alvin, my referral? Absolutely. I did refer, I did follow up with Alvin. We had a good chat when we spoke originally. I had a conversation with him afterwards, sent him a proposal, and he's just waiting for him to follow up. Okay, great. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much for that. Ken. You're very welcome. That's what we're here for, to help each other. Yeah, absolutely. That is, that is it. I love what we do. Oh, okay. It's a lot. I didn't realize. There we go. Next, we have Brother Drew. Andrew, how are you doing this morning? Uh, we might still be on mute. Sorry, I was on mute. Good morning. How's everybody doing? <laughs> Very good. Nice having you here, Drew. Yeah. Um, I wanted to just pop in. I uh, haven't been in a while and, uh, Listen up to some of the great content this early morning. So, um, yeah, that's that's it for me. There's no no marketing spiel. I think everybody's uh, you know, done that, and uh, you know, we don't want to burn up too much time this morning with people. So, uh, well, we have, yeah, we we appreciate you. Well, can I can I make the announcement? Is it or 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 is it not? Is it not to be released yet? Because you, oh, you no, 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 no. Hey, it's uh, it's 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 out there. Go ahead. Yo, what do you mean? Great, it's a big announcement. So as you guys know, um, Drew, uh, Drew is one of our board members as well, and he's the owner of Afro Beach Montreal. But more importantly and more exciting, uh, Drew is now the owner of a club on Saint Laurent, and I, 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 it's exciting to announce because during relationship season, we're going to figure out a way to create a networking event, um, for OFC members to get together at the club. So I wanted to give a shout out, huge shout out to Drew. Great accomplishment. I'm really excited. And again, just um, I want to encourage the community to connect with you. So those who are looking for a space to rent for events, for meetings, birthday parties, whatever be the case, connect with our brother Drew. Um, yeah, and I, I did, is the Af what's the what's the best way to connect with you, Drew? Like, uh, is it through um, Instagram? Yeah, yeah, we're. I mean, on Instagram is is probably the best, which is um Afrobeats A F R O B E. T B E A T S M C L Afrobeats M C L uh, on Instagram. You can just DM us. Uh, the name of the club is called Frame. Um, you have to be in there to understand why it's called that. And uh, <laughs> the beautiful thing about it is also in summer we have a great, a lovely terrace. Uh, it's a rooftop terrace which um, you know people can come and use. Uh, we intend to, you know, we're open, we're operating, we intend to be operating, you know, uh, you know, seven days a week type of thing um, based on need. And um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, you know, thank you very much for the plug there, Faroy. I, I really suck at uh, self-promotion, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we have for Drew. We are a community. So we're definitely right. looking to connect. Um, and thank you again, just for the work you're doing and for being here and being on the board and being uh, an encouragement to what we're doing. All right. Cool. All right. My pleasure. Let's keep it moving. Sister Andrea, wait, are you are you joining? You're on with us this morning? Yes, Queen. I'm just checking to see if anybody told me that they're not speaking. So. All right. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. It's Andrea Cox. I'm an NFI pre planning coach. For those who don't know, I have a book. It's a step by step guide, and it's a workbook to help us have those uncomfortable conversations with our loved ones. Um, what am I looking for? I'm actually looking for people who know others in a church group, an organization who's looking for someone to come and have this uncomfortable conversation. Had a great one um, last week with a group of seniors and 
instead of me doing a lot of talking, I had more of an open dialogue. And you guys, it was so amazing. I want to do that more often um, because this is a topic that people want to talk about. They got that opportunity to ask their questions. Um, it was really amazing. So definitely want to be able to do that more. So I can be reached on um, Instagram at, oh my gosh, what is my Instagram handle? Um, pre planned first with Andrea Cox. <laughs> And I'm on Facebook with Andrea Cox, and I will put my contact details on here as well. Thanks so much, everyone. Have an awesome day. Thank you, Andrea. We appreciate you and appreciate you being up so early. So as you guys know, guys, actually, same for you, Tashana. Uh, we appreciate you uh, for joining us from um, Alberta, Calgary. Uh, no, actually, you guys are both in Calgary. You guys are in Alberta, though. So um, so thank you, guys. Tashana, do you have something you want to, um, to add for Andrea? I did. Thank you. Um, actually, Andrea, I just wanted to know if you have uh, reached out to Marsha and ta um, to talk about the ARC, because I think that what uh, what you just said is so important. And we've been dealing with a lot of death in the church. And um, as you know, our bishop passed away. My grandfather's taken over. So um, I definitely if you haven't spoken with Marsha already, you should definitely give her a call <laughs> or I'll have her give you a call. That's awesome. Thanks. You know what? I was actually scheduled and I forgot what happened, why they had to cancel, but I will definitely follow up with her again. Thank you so much. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Okay. Good. And I'm also going to um, encourage you to connect with Westcan. If you don't have their contact information, let me know, but they're, they're also the president and the um, coordinators in the WhatsApp. But um, Westcan, they have a senior group, a very active senior group, and I think they would really enjoy like uh, being able to connect with you. Oh, uh -huh. Like West End jo joining the Zoom right now. Um, I think it would be great um, to have them um, uh, join with you guys. And, you know, we could do like where we did a, a Zoom session and have that conversation. Um, uh, she had to not put you on the spot, but I was just mentioning West End. And I think West End should connect with Andrea Cox to have one of those virtual sessions. So I'll make it a point for you guys to connect. I think the senior group at West End would love um, to have a conversation with you, Andrea. Thank you. All right, my pleasure. This is why we do what we do. Next, we have Sister Nadia, and then after is our brother Aldo. Nadia, how you doing, Queen? Hey, I'm good. Yourself? Great, thank you. Thank you for being with us. So, thank you. Thanks for having me this morning. Good morning, everybody. My name is Nadia. I am the founder of Le Diamant Bleu de Nadia. So I advocate for mental health in the community, and I help children and family. Also, I use my experience to break the silence in the community. And my goal is to, to make sure that people do seek help when they do need help. And I also do a lot of uh, mental health fair and mental health um, conferences. Uh, last one I did was for entrepreneur. And it's important for me that people know they have to take time for themselves and to help them get better. Queen, thank you. And how can we help you today? Is there anything you're, you're working on? I'm actually, I'm, I'm, I'm working on my mental health fair for this year, and I'm looking for people to sponsor and to help. I'm looking for social workers. I'm looking for anybody in the health community that want to do and break the silence. This year, I'm making it in two days. So I'm making one for the, the youth, and I'm also making one for the elderly, which is important in the community. Also, in the black community, there's a lot of elderly they're feeling alone right now. And the mental they let them they're letting themselves die because they don't they have nobody in their family coming to visit them and stuff. So this year I'm making it a huge thing for the elderly and for the youth. As I'm a wow. single mom, my mm -hmm. child is in Hawaii. As you like people, my child got recruited for University of Hawaii. So he's in football in University of Hawaii. So right now. He was going through a mental breakdown because, you know, living his home and being there by himself and stuff like that. So I'm making something this year, making as it's for the youth and the elderly. So you guys all are right. all welcome. If you want to follow cool. me, Le Diamant Bleu de Nadia with a Y on Instagram and all my social media. And I also have a website and I'm working on it. You guys are more than welcome to support. Thank you so much for that. Um, I'm also going to encourage you to connect with West Kent for the connecting with seniors and but also because they have a very youth, a very large youth, um, uh, I guess, youth group and stuff as well. So I, I want to encourage you to connect with West Kent. And if you haven't, just because what Clark is doing with youth and financial literacy, um, I just think it's a good it's a good fit for you guys to be able to connect again as well, because you guys are also um, youth focused. So that is amazing. Um, so, yeah, I strongly encourage you guys to connect. 
you guys already know you can connect within the chat or within the whatsapp or just reach out to us and we will bridge you guys awesome uh brother aldo uh we go with aldo he's there okay hey, there you are. Hey. <laughs> hey, okay. John rising everyone so my name is Aldo Gizmo. I'm an artist from the community, but I'm also the owner of the company um, Evo Design Technologies, a consultant IT company. Um, so we're doing web developing, we're doing um, IT supporting, and uh, most definitely we're doing curriculum of courses um, so we can uh, help uh little uh little company to grow so we can um like uh give courses to the employee and also give courses for any kind of people so uh today i'm here to to talk about uh, uh my obnl because i'm also uh, the president of the obnl la base neuf set um la base neuf set is the obnl who try to unite the french caribbean people so as the OFC is already uniting us, I'm trying to unite the little part of us like this. It can get a little bit easier for the OFC. So within this community, uh, this year, we will be part of the Karimas. And uh, so we can show you uh, the little part of uh, culture that we have. And um, we also have a, a, a carnival uh, group. Uh, that representing uh, our music. So this year we will be able to show you and make you uh, hear uh, the, the, the song of the Martinique and Guadeloupe and Guyana together. So, okay. so you can reach me up on the phone, 514-574-2532. Also on my website, Aldo Gizmo, so you can see what I'm doing as an artist. Um, and if you want uh, some um, IT consulting, you can also reach me by phone, 514-574-2532, or on the website, Evo Design Technology, technology with um, IES, all right? So evodesigntechnology.com. That's it. Amazing. Thank you, King, and thank you for what you're doing, keeping the culture alive. Um, and definitely, if you haven't done it yet, I want to connect. Uh, I want to connect you with Odas. You know, are you already connected to Odas or Femine? Oh, that would be great. I, I'm, okay, I'm okay. sure I know already, but uh, it's already great to, okay. to reconnect and make sure we have the, the right link. Okay, good. Yeah. All right, so then we'll follow up after the fact and I'll make sure I connect you with them because they, they're they very strong and I think it'd be a great connection to have as well, Um, for, especially what you're doing within the French community. Good. All right, let me go through who did I miss. Sister Kemba and Sister well, she to, let me know if you're going to be joining or if you're if you're just listening this morning. And Sister Kemba, the floor is yours, and then we will transition to our next segment. Oh, oh wait, did I put something in the chat that I didn't see? Oh, sorry, Kemba, I'm not seeing it. All right, greetings, everybody. Thank you, Kemba, for being present with us this morning. And Sister Shiata, are you speaking or are you just listening? Uh, if you don't turn on your mic, I'm going to assume you're listening because I know you're in transit. All right. So thank you guys for participating and um and just I'll plug for you guys real quick. So guys, Sister Kemba, uh, we had her this week on our radio show. So tune in uh, this Thursday. Uh, Sister Kemba joined us as our co-host and we had um uh Austin from Equiton, which is an investment uh, uh firm in Ontario. We had an amazing session. We deep dove. We had a question and answer. Um so, guys, you don't want to miss this week's show. Uh, Thursday morning, 7 a.m. to 9 a.m., 90.3 FM, you will hear us uh, talking about um, all this awesome things when it comes to investing. And that's what we used to close out finance season on the radio this week. So that was really cool. And shout out to Shiata, who is the artistic director at West Can Folk Performing Company. They actually have a junior carnival um, group that's going to be on the road this coming Sunday. If you guys want to come out and support them, they are raising funds. They need water and a bunch of little things for the children. So if anybody wants to encourage them, uh, please reach out to West Can or reach out to the OFC. We can connect you with them. Um, anything we can do to support and encourage our little babies on the road, we want to do so. So if guys, if you want to support them by, you know, donating some funds so they could buy water or just donating the water or, you know, just coming out to encourage the youth on Saturday, uh, please do so. All right. 
So um, quick, let me just give the quick announcements as we transition. Um, so our weekly meetings, guys, this is the last of the weekly meeting um, for this season. We're going into a relationship season. And in relationship season, we are focusing on um, getting people together in person more, um, building bonds. We're going to be doing a communication workshop. We're going to do a workshop with um, um, couples, uh, couples, singles, divorces, whatever be the case, we're going to bring everybody together to discuss relationship within the community. And we're going to have a think tank as adults um, to talk about what's happening with our youth and them getting caught up in the social web. Um, uh, so we're going to discuss as as parents, we're going to brainstorm, not just as parents, as parents, adults, godparents, aunties, uncles, anybody who's concerned about the future of our youth. And we'd like to make sure that we are creating initiatives um, that maybe get them from behind their devices, get them thinking, get them critically thinking, get them um, building their confidence and stuff again. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing. And hopefully we'll do it in collaboration with Nadia uh, and Clark when we're connecting with our youth. So those are some of the quick updates. Um, guys, we also have made it easy for you guys to take the survey. Thank you guys. A lot of people have taken the survey, so we appreciate you guys for doing that. That's our business survey. I'll share the link again um, within the chat and within our WhatsApp. Uh, but we've made it super easy for you guys. Just book a session and member services will do the survey for you over the phone. All right. So you can do it while you drive, while you cook, while you do whatever the case they will ask you the questions. They will fill in the form for you. We've made it really, really, really easy for you guys as members to be able to complete the survey. And we need to hear from you all as business owners within the community. As you guys know, it's attached to getting access to more funding. If they don't hear from us and they don't know where our challenges are, then they overlook us when it comes to um, supporting. So we want to make sure that, that you guys are heard. All right. Um, those are the, the last update so yeah i think i told you guys sessions are going to monthly so we're going to have one session and it's going to be in the evening on sundays if i'm not mistaken i think we're going uh six uh 6 30 to 7 30 7 30 8 30 sunday evenings one sunday a month but you guys will know and again we're doing that because we took in feedback from you guys um that you did say that you a lot of you guys said you would prefer to do meetings on a monthly basis or bi-weekly so as we're transitioning out we're making a point to do that um and um, the the uh, the other thing, and doing them uh, on a Sunday in the evening was another request from you all in terms of members of the community. So we're just trying to accommodate. And of course, it's summer season. So, you know, we don't want to bog you guys down with meeting every week. You know, we meet up once a month and then after the season, we'll get back to meeting more regularly. All right, guys, I'm excited. Um, as we have 15 minutes left. Let's dive in. I know, right? I'm excited for the change. It's going to be fun. Um. So let's dive in. As you guys know, I've been talking about um, setting up these membership cards. First of all, it's been about two years that I've been working on trying to find a tool, something to help members to be acknowledged or identified as active OFC members. And guys, I have finally come across it through this collaboration with HP. So um, I'm going to give you guys a broad strokes and then i'm going to introduce um rafael from hp who's going to go in a little more detail and then we'll just open up for some questions for those who might have any um so basically this is a membership card at the base the and i said i shared out the mock of it uh just to save time i won't try to find it on my computer right now I'll just we'll just dive in um but so basically it's a membership card like any other uh card um that would acknowledge you it has an id number that is that is specific to you and if done well we should even be able to get your names actually printed on your cards as well which is going to be really cool now there's a couple of cool advantages of having the membership card to one obviously you get discounts when you purchase from um when you use the card or you show the card uh when you're purchasing from ofc members uh wherever the um ofc members acknowledge you're acknowledged and recognize as an OFC member. But in addition to that, it serves it works like a regular prepaid credit card. So you load you could load money right onto the card. And then through there we could transfer money to each other. So we could use the card to pay each other. Um there's uh you could wire uh, money to other members. So if ever you have a member in need of some funding, you could send the money directly through your platform. But one of the things that I find really exciting about it is that the members get a cash back. So um, like any regular credit card, there's a 2% processing fee to the merchant, just like when they use, like even, even though I see we pay a 3.5% processing fee um, to Stripe when we're, um, when we're receiving payments through Stripe. 
So the point is doing it this way is actually even cheaper. Uh, so there's a 2% processing fee. But the beauty of this processing fee is that a portion of it is donated back to the member as a cash back. So you get benefits for supporting members within the community. But what is exciting to us is that the, uh, there's another portion of the um, service fee that is going towards a fund. So we're putting together a fund that was going to serve our youth in terms of scholarships, um, bursaries, things um, we're going to be able to pool the capital within the community in order to support us within this community. So I think that is something really exciting. And just to kind of give you guys a little more detail, the processing fee is 2% and the company breaks that up into three. 1% they, they retain and the other 1% is what's divided between the OFC as well as the members. So I think that is really exceptional. It allows us to build wealth within the community. Um, I'm, I don't want to speak too long. I want to give Raphael an opportunity to kind of give a, a synopsis of, I know, right? I'm so excited. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I, I, I'm excited for this opportunity as well, um, Andrea. So I'll let Raphael introduce himself, introduce the company, and give you guys just a little more detail. And then please, guys, if you have questions, you can put them in the chat, um, or you can wait till he's finished, and you can just ask the questions. But I don't want to take up too much more of the time. Brother Raphael. Thank you for being um, present with us uh, today <laughs> on our OFC Weekly. I want to give you the floor to introduce. All right. Uh, great um, presentation uh, for all. I think you said everything, to be honest. Uh, it's pretty simple. Um, and thank you, everybody here, to, uh, uh, for joining. And I'm excited to learn more about uh, the OFC uh, organization. I think it's pretty nice and uh the fact that we can be united actually is the same same mission, same vision as uh, the um, our, our company um, for everything that has to be uh, HP, and uh, the same uh, vision is to unite people and community together. So basically, uh, Faro explained everything in uh, in a way that um, that it's pretty uh, easy to understand. It's uh, uh, cards that will be uh, benefiting you guys from uh, either transferring money to each other, uh, benefiting from um, different um, discounts with uh, some of our partners. Uh, there's a lot going on right now. So we are currently um, doing a lot of changes with the company. So there's a lot of new members, partners, things like that. So uh, there's a lot of cool things coming. Um, and I think it's pretty, when I, the first time I saw the OFC organization, actually, I was like, wow, like this is the same, the same, uh, the same thing we're looking for, for HP, uh, to have like organization like this and to connect you guys even more. And, um, as I can see, most of you guys work, have like businesses and want to connect with either clients or to increase whatever it is. And I think the... OFC um, member like card for HP uh, will be the best tool to help you guys uh, increase that uh, because you can get the member card and uh, benefit from everything with uh, with that card. Um, so um, yeah, it's a card that um, you guys can use as um, um, like a credit card. Uh, you can transfer money. Um, you can use it to uh, to do a lot of things with uh, some of our partners um, and uh, through all the, the partners that we'll have with um, OFC as well. So there's a lot coming up. Uh, and I think, Farah, you did everything. You explained everything. And I'll be able to ex answer more questions if there's like a particular question from, from um, members here at um, OFC. Perfect. And I thank you for that. And actually what I could do, I know some of the questions that came up um, before was, so one of the things uh, I think was kind of addressed, but somebody was trying to understand how the whole process works, because normally um, to be able to process funds like this, like, or to be a processing company, you need to be like a visa or you need to be like a MasterCard or one of the big um, machines. So how is it that the OFC through HP um, could offer these kind of services to the members. Yeah, absolutely. It's pretty simple because we are like Visa. Um, so basically, we do have our own everything. Uh, it costs a lot of money, a lot of uh, investment. But um, so now we can have members. So uh, it's like a 
OFC partner part have a partner with Visa, for example. But in this case, it's a partnership with uh, with HPay. So you do have all the benefit, and on top of that, it's uh, we have like um, um, some of the best um, return. Uh, so let's say you have uh, you buy stuff, you can get like a, a very good return on your uh, cashback. Um, and it's pretty much the same same system as Visa. So to be clear, it's like uh, the competition of Visa. So we do have everything, everything, everything. Okay, so I hope that 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 answered the um, the question there for anybody who was concerned. As a um, I, I know one of the things was the fees. So loading money onto the card is free. Um, Correct. from from what we understand, so members could connect it to uh, like you could connect it through your bank account through email transfer. Um, you load money onto the card. Um, so it's free to load money onto the card, and it's free for us to transfer money between each other. But now, so. The, where do the fees come in? When when do we pay fees? Um, and how much are the fees? So basically, guys, there's no fees for, for you. Um, this is one of the most exciting things because uh, normally, like, people pay fees, uh, most of the, the other cards. Um, so the system is built to really, like, uh, benefit. It's a win-win. So basically, the more members we have, um, the better it is for us and for you guys. Um, so to transfer money, it's free. Okay. Um, and when you use the card, basically there's, a um, the, the, the little percentage that normally you use when you use a credit card or a, a different other card, and that's where we get in. So our fees, it's lower than, than the other ones. And this is where we, uh, we, we share the, the, between us and you guys. Um, so it's it's a big it's a win win uh, strategy that we came with, uh, and I think it's very uh, you guys are gonna see and you'll be able to learn more uh, once we we finish everything. And uh, I'm not sure far if the the um, they got more details for the the the, the cards and everything or uh, where where exactly the the um, the process with all the members for the cards. Mm -hmm. No, not yet. This is still, we're still very much like in the introduction phase. Like we've been now reaching out to members on one-on-one -on -one just to confirm their at mailing addresses. Uh, guys, okay. I'm going to send them, I'm going to share another form. Actually, I was just looking for it. I'm going to share another form with you guys. If we haven't reached out to you yet, um, we will be. But the point is we just want to confirm everybody's mailing addresses uh, to make sure we're sending out the cards. Uh, the cards are for active members of the OFC. For some of you guys who have family memberships, you can get a card for your spouse or the children within the household um, who are um, 13 or 14 and older. I can't remember the age that we had said, but we know that we also want to use the card for financial literacy. So we're encouraging uh, youth um, to get a card as well. Um, and it's prepaid, so it's not like, you know, they could get into anything, but we can use it to even transfer credit onto the cards as well. So we could transfer funds onto these youth cards um, and, and teach them financial literacy that way as well. Um, so that's something cool. Um, and for merchants out there, how does it work if you're not, I'm a business owner. I think it's a little bit different as a business owner and I wanna receive um, uh, payments from the uh, OFC member card. How does that work? If you wanna receive like um, payments from, uh, from members like, uh... Like using the HP card, like so. If they want to now, if 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 I now want to become a merchant, um, like for mm -hmm. example, like one of the things that we're going to be setting up is the OFC will be a merchant because it's actually it's cheaper for us to receive transactions or payments from exactly. members through their member card because then the it's actually even less than the two percent because technically uh point five would be come back to the OFC anyway. So our in mm -hmm. our case, our fee would only be one and a half percent opposed to the three and a half percent we pay to Stripe right now. So in our case, it's cheaper to become a merchant to receive payments. But if you could just Absolutely. explain the process in terms of how to become a merchant, what the costs are, and I guess if there's anything else we need to know. Yeah, so the exciting thing is that we are a partner with uh, Clover. Um, so um, so for all the businesses, most of the time you guys use either tri Stripe or other uh, merchant. Um, so we are we are partner with Clover. So um, that means whatever where there's Clover machines, um we are there because hp it's also the the uh the payment method that you guys your clients can use which is very cool that means as a business now you can benefit from uh, as uh, faro explained either like a better percentage and uh, you receive money directly into your account so there's no difference right now let's say 
uh, the way you work with um, uh, another brand like Visa or, uh, but for us, it's directly into your account. Um, and also you receive like all the, the, the um, all the other like uh, cash back from, from uh, everybody that use the cards. So you have more, more um, benefit from, from uh, as a merchant. So that means it never ends. So for all the businesses that want to be a merchant, uh, you either you you have the better percentage with the card, and you also receive cash back from your uh, whoever that use the cards. Um, so there's a Wait, lot. I'm not sure if I that. So as a merchant, when uh, it's it's simple for simple explain my français, but just so I make sure I understand. So as a merchant, when other people use the cards, there's points accumulated. For me as well as a merchant absolutely so that means uh as a merchant when other people use the cards uh which is very exciting so that means it's a business into a business so um normally as a merchant you just like uh let's say when you work with uh um with uh, other companies uh, there's no more like uh, uh let's say for your customers for example um quand ils font des achats ben ça s'arrête là tu as comme le pourcentage exemple de visa ou peu importe uh, mm -hmm. qui te charge les frais mais that's it um right. so the the good thing with uh, with uh, our program is that uh tous vos membres deviennent comme des, des ambassadeurs for you guys so that means every time they use the card uh, vous avez une en plus qui, qui revient um, dans votre compte as a merchant. And even them, they can create also, uh, ils peuvent devenir aussi, avoir une restaurant, donc uh, de leur côté aussi. So it's a really, it's a win-win for everybody. Um, this is the concept we, we created, something that everybody can benefit, uh, not only the people on top, but everybody. And that's the, the, the main vision, the goal to unite the, com the whole community. Uh, et puis ça, c'est des choses que souvent les grandes organisations, les banques, les, euh, ils ont eu l'habitude de faire. Ben, la différence, c'est qu'eux, ils mangent juste en haut. Tu vois? Uh, maintenant, ce qu'on voulait créer, c'est que tout le monde vraiment peut bénéficier. So, moi, en tant que, que, que membre qui a la carte, je veux pouvoir bénéficier parce que uh, j'ai des, uh, des rabais un peu partout. Uh, let's say, even like, um, I don't know if you, you, you saw the example last time with um, some of our partners, comme on est avec... Uh, uh, toutes les locations de véhicules, Enterprise, National, oh, yes. um, we have over 70%. So normally, if you want to lease a car, for example, um, for one uh, week. Wait, hold, hold on, brother. And I, I, I cut you just looking at the time. So it is 8.30, guys. And you guys know I'm a stickler for time. So I'm just, if, if you guys permit, we'll take just two more minutes just to close up properly. Um, but I just want to respect everybody's time. So we have, we'll close up in two minutes. And if you guys had any questions that, that you didn't get a chance to ask, please uh, either raise your hand, unmute, um, post in the group. Um, the crown, see you later, Kemba. Um, but we'll make sure to, to answer the questions. But what brother was just um, uh, sharing is that as members with this, through the partnership that they have, we get 70% off of car rentals as well using our um, member cards when we go to, I think it's Enterprise National or Alamo. Um, uh, absolutely. Right. So it's a lot. Our partners. It's, yeah. It's you know, a lot. And I, there's I, I more like that. You want to finish your point. Yeah, you can finish your point and then I'll close up. Okay, so let's say for a week, normally it's uh, for a regular person, customer for, let's say, national, it's like $700. If you want to go to the app now for uh, to rent a car, any one of you, you will pick like a week, any week, any car, like an, a regular car, a normal car, it's around six to $700. So with uh, as a member, you benefit 70%. So that means it's uh, you'll be like uh, two, $300. Uh, which is incredible. And that's mm -hmm. only one of our partner, but there's many, many more. We do have other brands as well. Um, so that's why it's very interesting. So not only you benefit from all these uh, cool uh, places and restaurants and things like that, but you do also have uh, les rest les restaurants, les, um, to transfer money. Uh, it's very fast. So it's uh, from between you guys. It's right away. You transfer money, it's right away. Uh, into the other accounts, and there's no fees for that. Alors, il y a beaucoup d'avantages, vraiment, uh, à être très gagnant avec ces cartes-là. So, that's huge. And thank you. And as, as we're closing, for people who have family overseas and who have members overseas, this is a way that we could encourage and help to grow the network 
um, mm-hmm. by encouraging them to join the OFC. They could get their OFC cards, and then this way you guys could send money to family and friends at no cost. Um, so then there's there's uh, there's that savings there because you guys know we spend a lot of money when transferring money overseas. So guys, this is huge. Uh, we're glad to be able to create this opportunity and to share and to it's been a work in progress. Um, but I'm really excited for the future. This is almost giving us the power of being our own little independent bank, guys, if you think about it. Um, but, you know, we, we will grow uh, as a community. And what excites me is every time we spend money, we're we banking those funds that will be going to supporting our own youth. So this is a cool, cool initiative. Um, you know, it's the first time ever you can spend money knowing that one, you're getting your own cash back, but then also a portion of it is going towards a fund that benefits you all in terms of members of the OFC and your children. So guys, this has been an awesome session. Thank you all for participating today. Uh, Brother Raphael, thank you for joining us this morning, early morning. Um, thank you, but now you see a little bit of how we get down within the OFC. Guys, so stay tuned. Our next session is going to be in two weeks, but you will get the announcement. We will share it. We will create a calendar invite so you all get the notification. Um, but we'll be announcing it in the WhatsApp group and on email so you guys know when our next session is going to be. But remember, over the next season, we're aiming to meet in person as much as we can. Um, and for those who can join us, obviously, we'll always still have a virtual option for you guys to participate with us virtually. So with that, I want to uh, ask life that life just continue to bless each and every one of you guys that the that um, your business be able to continue to expand to be able to support yourselves, your family, as well as your OFC community. Hotep, amen, and ashe, everybody. Thank you guys again, and we will be in touch very soon. Enjoy the rest of your day, brother Raphael. If you want to give me two minutes, and uh, we'll okay. close up for everybody. Right. Thank you guys. You guys enjoy the rest of your day. On style being.